I'm about to show you a five and a half million pound home in Hackney, East London. Hello, I'm Grant James Bates. This is London Property Tours, latest episode for my YouTube channel. We're in London Fields today. London Fields is literally 100 yards away in Hackney. Great location, Columbia Road Flower Market, Broadway Market, Hackney Empire. Easy connections into town as well via Dawson Junction or London Fields. We're at this. How pretty is it from the outside as well? Semi-detached, six beds, three baths, three receptions, a few bells and whistles that I'll share with you as well. We're over 4,000 square feet across four floors. Let's go in and check it out. I'm only here for the party. Trust me, we're just getting started. The sound, the vibe, I feel so alive. You're only here for the party. I might just get what I wanted. The sound, the vibe, I feel so alive. I feel so alive. So the house is Victorian and the interiors, I think, are exceptional. I'm not actually convinced that East London interiors can be beaten. And I say that as objectively as I can because I worked East for a very long time, but I now cover the whole of London. I just don't think there's anything like East London interiors. They retain the period character of the building so well, but they add this incredible flair. So we're in the raised ground floor right now, double reception. Parquet herringbone flooring beneath me, really good ceiling height, cornicing, ceiling roses, these beautiful chandeliers, double marble fireplaces, bay window, all the windows are sash, refurbished, rehung, repurposed shutters as well. That leads through to an orangery, which in turn leads onto a terrace, which overlooks the landscape garden, which I'll show you later. There's also a picture window, one here and one in the study on this floor, overlooking the lower ground floor, and you'll see why there's such a focus on that area in a bit. There's another mud room or boot room as well at the front here, but I think we need to go downstairs because this is exceptional. Okay. So the lower ground floor for me, is where it all happens. Absolutely love this floor. We've got the double height here. Now, the ceiling height is obviously almost as tall as the door, and I was gonna make you, or ask you rather, more appropriately, to guess the height of this door. It's the biggest one ever made by the particular company that made it, and it's five meters. How about that? It's also on an axis that swivels, which I'll show you. It's just a very cool feature in its own right, despite me talking for so long about a door. I think it's worthy of it. We've got underfloor heating. The flooring is poured concrete. Dining area here. Bowl top kitchen, this side. It's finished in marble. Melee appliances, there's a pantry here. Tucked away this way, we've got a very cute cinema room. There's another entrance to the property as well, and there's a bedroom and bathroom, so a bedroom suite to the front. So that's really handy for nanny or guests, particularly with the other entrance, and there's a doggy washing station. I kid you not, it's got a little shower for a dog. So a dog's mudroom, I guess. Human mudroom upstairs, dog mudroom down here. On top of this incredible door, we've also got these floor to ceiling, again, sliding glass doors, which go out onto the landscape garden. You've got barbecue and seating area, fire pit and everything at the front, landscaped and lots of greenery to the back. And then there's a self-contained studio as well, which we're classing as the sixth bedroom and um, so effectively two bedrooms on this floor all the rest upstairs but again another great option for guests or nanny or just a very cool space turn it into a gym do what you want with it i love this floor On the upper floors, we've got three bedrooms and two bathrooms, including Eve's storage. The principal suite occupies the entirety of the first floor and boasts a walk-in wardrobe and marble bathroom with double sink, rainfall shower and bathtub.
for joining me over in London Fields at the tour of my latest listing. To remind you, if you're enjoying the content so far, please like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. The property is available now at 5.5 million pounds. So if you've got any questions or you want to take a look, let me know. And I'm at Grant J Bates on all socials. That's obviously YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. Take care.